Hello YouTube, it's been a while. This is Nina with Cool Hit Funky Stuff on Poshmark and I also sell on eBay and Amazon and um, today I'm doing a dress haul for you. Um, I've been doing quite a bit of shopping. I have a favorite thrift store where they see me coming and they pull out all the stops <laughs> because I tend to buy a whole bunch of stuff. So um, yesterday I went in there and um, they just they did a couple of really good discounts for me and one guy always goes to the back and pulls out all the shoe bins for me to look through so I usually get first pick. So today I'm going to show you some of the dresses that I got um, to resell on Poshmark and eBay if um, I feel like that's the place that they should go. So the first dress that I have for you is a little sports dress like a yoga dress by Dakini. Um, it's got a cute keyhole cut out in the back and the straps are adjustable um, or I guess it's called Dakini. Yeah, it is Dakini. Dakini. Let me see that. Um, this is an extra small so it might take a while to sell. Extra smalls don't necessarily sell that well for me but this is a good brand. Um, I'll probably put that up for like 25 Let's see what happens. Found this cute little it's a kid's um, cheerleading outfit for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I live in North Carolina, and for some reason, we have a gazillion Pittsburgh Steelers fans around here. Um, it is an RBX uh, official, RBK official um, licensed product. Super cute, great shape. I'm sure someone will want that. Probably put that up on eBay. This is a Doe and Ray. I think it might be an anthropology brand. Um, it's really cute. It's got this ruffle detail all the way around on the front and the back. That was the back that I showed you, a little keyhole. Um, here is the, hey, my kitty. There's the tag, if you can see that, Doe and Ray. Um, this is a size large. And it's a little, just, just cute little polyester dress, although they're making polyester so well that it actually feels like it could be silk. So really cute little summer dress. This is a dress that I picked up for later in the year. I'm always thinking about Q4, and this is a Quacker Factory dress. Um, it's a little Halloween inspired got candy corn on it it has buttons and it's it's it doesn't actually have a tag but I think it is I could sell that as new a tag um, but these little button covers are also shaped like little candy corns and it's by Quacker Factory as I said if you don't know that brand they usually do kind of novelty prints um, they'll do sweaters and things like that it's a larger size um, a teacher might want this or something like that for when Halloween or for Thanksgiving. So I'll be holding on to that for then. Next up is this cute little dress. This is silk. It is Alice and Olivia. It's a size medium and it's got this off-centered um, top off the shoulder. Cute little ruffle detail at the bottom that's just kind of gathered and looks like little roses. I love that. It gives it a little bit of a bubble kind of look. Um, back is about the same. Pretty color. That would be great for brunch or maybe even a summer wedding. I love that dress. This is a brand that you guys have probably heard of before. I know you have. It is Maeve. Um, they tend to like this green dress. I saw a haul video where someone had um, another green dress. This one's got a lot of detail to it. It is, well, it's got kind of, it's not really Swiss dot, but it almost looks like Swiss dot, but they're really, they're stitches. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then it is, uh, sewn here. It's got this detail around just underneath the bust line. It zips on the side. Super cute. Let's see what size it is. 
No, I can't get the tag. It's a size two, so it's tiny. Any size twos out there? This is such a pretty color. I've recently discovered this color for myself, actually, so, but it's way too small for me. Pretty dress, though. This is a fun one, Millie of New York. Um, they're kind of polka dots, but they're also kind of like balloons, and it is a strapless dress. Um, also a smaller size, it's a size four. Here's the tag, Millie of New York. Um, I have sold this brand a couple of times, and you know, I, I did really well. The very first dress that I found, it was one that was silk, and I just knew by the feel, I didn't know the brand, but I knew by the feel that it was really a nice um, quality. And when I looked up the comps, I was like, yeah, I should take this. And it didn't take long to sell. I think I sold it for like $75. So I'm, that one is just cotton. Um, I'll probably put it up for 25 or 30. And then this is another kind of athletic brand. This is an REI dress. Um, just a blues on style smocking around the waistline, uh, spaghetti strap, lightweight summer dress. The straps are adjustable. It is a size large. Front and back look pretty much the same. It's, it doesn't even look like it's ever been worn. The tag is still got that funky shine on it. Like, you know, how they start to crack when they've been washed. That one looks perfect. Probably 25 on this dress. Next is not actually a dress, but it is a tunic. It's long enough to be a dress. Um, and it's a brand called Flax by um, Jean Engelhart. And it's a size large. And it is linen, not flax. Long sleeved. It's got a kind of a cute detail on the sleeve here, a little point. Um, this is a great brand. I sell a lot of it on eBay. And back in the day, I used to wear a lot of it. Um, just really kind of long and look, super comfortable. This also has pockets in it. I just noticed little patch pockets here. Um, be great over a pair of leggings or even as a like a beach cover up or something like that. Super cute. Be on the lookout for that brand if you don't know about it. All right, here is a vintage piece that I, you know. I just pick up vintage pieces because I think they're cool. Um, they're kind of ugly and cool. <laughs> um, this is by a brand called Deweese Design. I haven't done, it, it's swim and sun fashion, so it's from LA, Deweese Design. On the back of the tag, it says swim and sun fashion. You can tell, obviously, that this is a really old brand. But it is a swim dress. It's a maxi swim dress. Um, made out of nylon lycra. It's got the built-in like old school bra inside of it. Um, the straps button and they have three buttonholes so it does adjust to fit depending on your size. Um, I'll try to show you as much as I can. It does have a few picks in it but you know it's just a long maxi that could be worn either in the water for someone who's really conservative or as a sundress. Either way, got these pretty flowers on it. Look like pansies. Um, so that was a fun find. I think I'll put it up for, I don't know, what do you think? What should I put it up for? I'm thinking maybe 25, but that might be low for a vintage piece. All right, this one needs ironing, but it is a favorite brand for a lot of people. It's called Bowden. And this is just a shift dress. It's a size eight. Um, it is silk, and I believe that that is the front. It is uh, a mini dress, all silk with the color block, and the back of, that's the back of the, um, the neckline, it has a little V, it's kind of cute, those little tiny cap sleeves there. Very good condition, probably 25 on that. I like Bowdoin, their, their stuff's pretty cool, but I, I don't, it doesn't sell all that well for me, but I keep picking it up. <laughs> I don't know why, I think I like the colors. This is a piece that I'm probably gonna put up on eBay rather than Poshmark, I'll probably put it up on both. 
I mean, I, I usually do. I usually put most things up on Posh. It's so easy to list there. Um, this is a Tommy Bahama. It is just a sundress, size large. Uh, V-neck with a little bit of gather here and elasticized waist. And I could probably wear that to the beach if I don't sell it. Love the color. This is also not a dress, but it is beachy, and I thought the color was great. It's just a tunic, and it is not, it, it's unbranded. Um, but I have sold it's things like this as beach cover-ups. I, I just love all the detail. Look at that. It's got these little pom-pom faux buttons. Um, all this embroidery work on it. It's really lightweight cotton. I don't, it doesn't even say where it's made. It's probably made in India, but sorry about that. Got the light, got the detail on that. Isn't that pretty? Um, I sold one that was kind of similar, just the style, but not the detailing recently um, as a beach cover up for about 15 with the best offer there of that. It's so pretty. All right, this is a brand that everybody knows and loves, and I knew it was. I mean, there are a couple things that kind of look like it, but this is a Lily Pulitzer. It is a size two. It is a strapless dress. It's got little flip-flops on it and flowers and all the Lily Pulitzer colors. It ties in the back. Um, can't go wrong with Lily for summer. Not sure what I'm gonna put that up for. Let's see if I can find more info on it. This was kind of a cool dress. Um, it's kind of boho in that it's got these different um, types of fabric, you know, contrasting fabrics. It's actually an athleta. It's um, a halter top. It's got a little bit of smocking in the back to hold it there. It's got a little detail here with kind of a belt around. Um, this is sort of a peachy orange color. It's got some lavender in it, and then that's got a lot of lavender with the orange in it as well. So really pretty contrast. I love that color combination. Um, let's see if I can hold it up. Yep, super cute. Athleta dress. Uh, I'm not sure what the fabric content is on this though or the size. It's a medium. Um, it's got that more modern Athleta tag. And let me see if I can see what the fabric content is. There it is. Polyester and spandex. Very pretty. A great sundress for summer. Haven't decided the price on that yet. This was just something funky that I um, bought because it's it's a uh, you know it's a brand I've never heard of, Tato Pani, but it is very summery. Um, probably an eBay thing. I'm also thinking about some local sources that I have for selling resources that I have for selling, and it's just got um, just like a shirt dress tank dress. It's got some embroidery here, or rather applique with a little spiral here. Um, patch pockets in this contrasting purple fabric that's got red and black geometric kind of retro design on it. The back is plain. It's about knee length. But I bought it because it was new in tag. Um, it's a size 10, 12 US, so a large and I just thought it would be a good summer dress for somebody, just with the cute details. We shall see. I'll have to look up that brand and see what happens. This is a brand that I've just recently learned about. It is called Moulinette Sours. This is a silk dress, and you can just tell by the feel of it that it's delicious. It feels like butter. Um, it is a daisy print, kind of stylized um, pencil drawing kind of dress 
with neat front detail and a little bit of caged back detail. It's got a um, side zip. Just really pretty. Kind of a flowy spring dress, all silk. I love it. Very pretty. Um, and it's a size 8, so that's a pretty decent size. I realize that I don't have many 8s. I'm kind of between a 6 and an 8, but I have a ton of 6s in my closet, but not many 8s. Um, this is a hit and miss brand, but I bought it because it was new with tag, and a tag is stuck in it because it has some lace detail. Anybody guess? It is a Adriana Papel. I can't remember what size this is. Adriana Papel. Um, the tag says that originally this was $140. And it has got some ruche detailing along the zipper in the back. The top is all lace. It's got these really pretty lace kind of um, open sleeves. I don't know what kind of sleeve you call that. What do you call that? See, it's open at the base there. It's almost like it's just a drape over. Um, really pretty. Look at that. Got some little frills on the top. I like it. Let's see what size it is. Um, it doesn't say. Oh, America US, size four. All right, so it's tiny, but it's super cute. I think someone would like that for like evening out, evening wedding. Edda, what is it? Yeah. All right, I found a second Moulinette Sewers. I was really surprised because I've never found this brand, yeah. but I found another one. This one is a size zero. I got lucky with all the small brands to this, this trip. Um, pretty, again, it's in this silk, and it is a sundress, yellow and black, ties in the center here. Um, just kind of a tank top fit and flare. Super cute. It's got, um, looks like it, the hem needs a little bit of work, but I sew, so I can just tack that together. No worries. Pretty yellow and black floral sundress. I know, Miss Etta. You want to sit right on top of my dresses, don't you? This one I actually bought for myself. It's, it's Jax. I don't know that brand, but um, this is about the only style of dress that I ever wear. So, it's for me. It's my size. I've got a wedding coming up. Looking for something to wear. Hi, Missy. Hi. Hey, no, I'm sorry. All right. Next is LOD. I believe this is an anthropology brand. Um, just a little sweet pink and white rose print dress. LOD. Size small. I'm hoping the small folks are coming out for summer and spring. It's super short, um, would never fit me, but I love it. Good brand. This is another one of those. Um, this is called Synergy Organic Clothing. There, all, There's also, I believe, I think it's called Zenergy, actually. Synergy organic clothing. So it's made with organic cotton, um, which is always a selling feature. Um, this one has some fun applique birds on it. Little lavender sundress, all organic cotton, um, size medium. Fun for the sun. And then this one, this is pretty obvious what this one is too. It's another Lily. Lily Pulitzer, size four. This one is embroidered. So it's just pink with orange embroidery, kind of floral detail here. Um, it is strapless. Zips in the back, like covered zipper, kind of old school. 
Really cute, another great spring dress. And then I have a few more, but I think I'm gonna end here. Um, this one is Odile. It is silk. This is an anthropology brand. This dress is size eight. It is just a shift dress. It's got a couple of spots on it. It's three color, um, just color blocking. Yellow, gray, and it's turquoise color. Um, really lightweight, cute details on the shoulder there with those little buttons. They're snaps, actually. Yeah. Let me see. Actually, they don't come off. Um, I thought they might, but they don't. Yeah, oh deal. What do you think? All right, so that's my first haul in a little while. Check me out on Poshmark. Um, and hopefully I'll be making some more videos for you. So you guys have a great day. Bye.